Um, now, I'm going to ask you a weird question. I don't know if I've asked this before. Is it fun being a professor? Yeah, I think that's how I see myself. You know, I mean, most people, I suppose, if you know me without having worked with me, you think I'm, you know, me for being on television. But I never, I don't define myself as that at all. I define myself as a physicist. Um, it, it's what I always wanted to do. And if you think about the job description, it's, it's partly teaching, but yeah. partly trying to understand the universe. And in particular, pieces of the universe that nobody understands. That's the definition of research. Right. And uh, so as a job description, I cannot think of anything better than being presented with something like, like black holes, for example, that nobody understands and probably no not no collection of atoms may have ever understood in the history of the Milky Way galaxy. We don't know. I mean, I, I was going to say, actually, you're, you know, make humanity great again. You might say, you, you must get this. Sometimes people say, why? You know, why should we make humanity great again? I mean, apart from the obvious thing that it means a great deal to us, in a universal sense, what, what, is, the, what is the point with this tiny... You know, we're, we're collections of atoms on one planet in orbit around one star amongst 400 billion stars in one galaxy amongst two trillion galaxies in the part of the universe we can see. And so it, it, when that perspective is delivered, then many people naturally think, well, then what's the point? We're just physically tiny and insignificant. It's a long answer to a short question, yeah. but you're going to do it anyway. Um, the, the point is to me that, that we don't know of anywhere else where anything can do so much as think. In fact, we don't know of anywhere else where life exists. I mean, I sort of strongly suspect there will be life in many places, perhaps even subsurface on Mars and so on. But, but consciousness, the ability to think and feel and explore the universe and try to understand it, I think that may be very rare. And yeah. so the very long answer to your short question is to be one of, to be one of those collections of atoms, atoms as old as the universe, right, that's come together and the job description is to try and understand more about the universe. Is to me a remarkably fortunate position to be in. Brian, I think I was looking for just the fun of the professor bit, you know, but you went for the wide answer. You went macro on me.